Go mommy! Go mommy! Go mommy! Go mommy! You got me singing Way oh way oh oh You look like a guy you could treat me right Way oh way oh oh Boy take a chance will you let me ride Way oh way oh oh I could be the best thing in your life Hey y'all, it's Lauren. So I am starting my postpartum baby number two health journey and I'm so excited. I have been like something about having a baby makes you super motivated to get your health together because you want to be running around with your kids and not have to be out of breath and stuff like that. What I did this time around postpartum whenever I stayed home and just had to, you know, mom, um, I watched so many podcasts like I can't even tell you and some of them were three hours long and it took me multiple days of watching them to finish them because I can't just binge watch that right now I have a very busy house with two kids but I watched a lot of uh, podcasts with doctors specifically um, in like qualified sources um, people who know what they're talking about and I'm not talking about the doctors who just want to prescribe you medicine for your stuff which is not a problem, but I wanted the normal way to just get your health in check. What I've learned from that is basically strength training, resistance training a few times a week, and eating a lot of protein. That's like the top thing I took away from all of it um, as just a starting point. Like start with that and then try to make it more complicated if you want later down the road. But I am making this video um, for my sake. I want to have a really awesome you know, YouTube video to watch that shows my whole journey. That's what I used to love doing. Um, if you go back to my oldest YouTube videos on my channel, you'll see that. Um, back then, I feel like I watched some of those videos sometimes and I'm like, ugh, your, your mindset's so flawed. But I am 28 now, I'm almost 29. I have a very mature approach to it now and I know a lot more than when I was like, however old, 19. Um, but yeah, so please enjoy this video. I'm going to post month by month as I go. Um, I was going to wait and just post at the end, but why not? Like, this might help other people. You might be motivated. Um, if you want to know who some of my favorite podcast hosts are with the doctors that I was watching, I can let you know. But they were really, really informative and awesome. So please enjoy this video. Bye. All right, I'm about to fill out some forms because I'm going to go get a DEXA scan next week. So next week marks six weeks postpartum. I have my, you know, six week checkup to like clear me for, you know, everything just working out and, you know, all that. So I also have an appointment that day for the scan and I'm so excited because I am like so ready to get my health in check. I'm so addicted to sugar. It's unreal. I have a Dr. Pepper every single day. I can't even, I did give it up for one month um, during my pregnancy, but other than that, I'm like so addicted to it. And I'm addicted to just sugar in general. I eat like absolute crap. Um, so I, there's something about having a baby that gets you so motivated. I felt like this with Sezi, um, and I did stick to it for a while, but then of course, you know, life happens and I just fell off the wagon. But after having this baby, I'm just seriously back in that mindset. I just want to be so healthy. I want to lose this, all this fat. I have so much body fat. I want to just be able to like, you know, run with my kid and not be like feeling self-conscious because I'm running and I'm jiggling everywhere. So I'm excited. The DEXA scan is gonna tell me a lot about my health and it's gonna tell me a lot of bad stuff because I just know I am so full of fat that I'm just ready to see it on paper to like give myself a little reality check. Reality check because there's no reason that, there's no reason, there's no reason. There's just been excuses and I'm ready to stop them. So I'm gonna fill this out and send it over to the lady and we're gonna get it this process going i'm so excited don't mind me i'm in my pantry right now but i just wanted to let you know i drank three cans of dr pepper today that's ridiculous that is absolutely i'm so addicted it's a problem i've been watching so many inspiring and transforming and like educational and science youtube videos podcasts like I am so motivated I I've been on this I've been in this spot so many times so many times hi my name is Lauren welcome to postpartum the journey to self-love in my mama bod I am almost three months postpartum 
and that's a journey I've never been on so this time I'm doing it for health um, so I'm really excited to get this started and to get that DEXA scan and like get my butt to you know work not like to beat myself up in the gym but just to like eat healthier and not drink three cans of Dr. Pepper in a day so I'm very excited let's do this I know it's not a good idea to buy an outfit that doesn't fit you and then try to fit into it but I really love this outfit and they only went up to a size large so I can't even get it on um I'm gonna just try it on just for me to have this you know visual but I'm hoping one day I can fit into this okay well I still look pregnant but I did just have a baby five weeks ago <laughs> So this dress is really comfy though, so eventually I hope I can fit in it. I just took my measurements. Here is where we stand. So my waist, the smallest part of my waist is 38 and a half inches. My hips are 46 inches. My thighs, my right in the middle of my thigh, the right one is 25 inches. The left one is 27 inches. My arms in the middle. Um, my right is 15 inches, left is 14 inches, my neck is 14 inches, and my chest is 45 inches. So, I'm so excited to see these numbers change. I'm like super hopeful. The last few days I have just been a sponge and I have been watching so many podcasts and YouTube videos with like credible sources who know what they're talking about. And yeah, I'm literally absorbing so much good info. I cannot wait to start incorporating it, but I'm not going to just, I'm doing it in a healthy way. Um, so I'm just really excited. I'm getting my DEXA scan this week and I literally cannot wait because that's going to be a big reality check and I'm just ready for it. So let's go. I'm about to go in and get a DEXA scan. I'm so excited. This is the start. So like the reason I want to get a DEXA scan is because I want to have a starting point to look back on because this is definitely the most unhealthy and like heaviest I've ever been. This is after having two kids um, and not really ever like getting back to my pre-baby weight. Not that that matters a whole lot. It's just about health at this point. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited. Let's see what this freaking scan tells me. It's gonna be, it's gonna be eye-opening. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, week one has started. I got the DEXA scan the other day and after the appointment, I was just like, whoa. Uh, I have 44% body fat um, and I knew that I had a lot but that was just crazy that is so much body fat for a 5'2 lady so I am super motivated it's day two I went to the gym yesterday I went to the gym today um, and I'm just really gonna try to be simple with this so I'm gonna focus on strength training a few times a week and eating protein now I'm gonna try to be more restrictive than that and not eat like sugar and stuff but I want to be realistic. I haven't had any added sugar so far, but I'm not going to be knocking myself around. I'm just going to try to be simple because I always overcomplicate it. So yeah, let's fingers crossed. I hope that I'm making this video with like the best transformation at the end of it. And yeah, let's go. It's like day four of my health journey <laughs> and I feel so good. I, it, it's crazy what you can feel like in a couple days, um, but I've gone to the gym three times. That's not going to be my main focus, but I do feel really good when I leave, so I do want to try to go as much as I can. Um, but yeah, I feel great. And the scale's going down a little bit, um, I guess just from like, I don't even know. Um, but yeah, let's keep going. I'm so excited. Say, go mommy. Go mommy. Go mommy. Go mommy. Go mommy! Yeah. Okay. Wow, it's so bright. <laughs> Say bye. Bye. Week one went really, really well. Um, whenever I got the DEXA scan, I weighed 218. And on Sunday, I was 212. And then I had gotten down to 204 this week. Um, so yeah, I had lost a few pounds and then I gained a few pounds for Easter. <laughs> um, but I think it was just because I was being super strict and like being very serious on the protein so that is what helped me i think for that first week um i'm into the second week now and easter kind of threw me off a little bit but i'm glad that that's the only holiday that's around the corner so that i can stay on my path but yeah it was a great week 
Week two was not the best because it was Easter and I had crawfish and martinis and just it was not my best week. But I am about to, you know, get strict again tomorrow with I felt so good eating so much protein that first week and working out. So yeah, I am going to get back into it this week and I'm excited to see some results. So I'm actually editing this video right now and I realized I hadn't really checked in in a little bit. Um, I really don't even know what, how long it's been since I last updated, but I have done, I haven't worked out this week, um, but I am having healthier thoughts towards like food and stuff. I haven't really been eating sugar like I was, so I do feel good. Um, I wish I could get to the gym this week, but I don't know if that's going to be able to happen. Um, so yeah, but I am going to try to like do other things to make this go by better, you know what I mean? Um, so no gym probably this week, but hopefully next I can get a little routine going. Okay, so I've been doing really good um, with everything and today my mom was like, I need to go to Costco. So she's like, are you going to get a coffee on your way back? And that's one of the things I'm addicted to. Like I'm obsessed. I am addicted to this coffee and I haven't had it in a minute. Um, probably like a week and a half, but that's a long time for me with this coffee because I'm so addicted to it. But I actually, instead of turning it down because why make myself miserable? Like I'm trying to do this realistically to where I'll have, you know, a sustained whatever lifestyle change. So I got the coffee. Um, but what I'm not gonna do is drink this coffee that's full of sugar, because it is, and then spiral and go back to eating all kinds of sugar and stuff. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm excited. Because I'm gonna drink this right now, but it's not gonna make me fall off the wagon. So, yeah, a little update for you. It's been about a month since I got my DEXA scan and really started to get into gear. Um, the scale went down a good bit, but I just don't feel like I look differently. Like, I keep trying on some clothes and I'm like, oh, I still look gross. Like, I feel like discouraged, but the scale did move and I am doing a lot better. Like, just in general health wise you know like eating better moving more i feel good i just am not seeing the changes visually yet so i'm trying not to get discouraged because that is very hard whenever you're wanting satisfaction you want to see your hard work you know come to light so i'm just telling myself that it's part of the process and that eventually it'll start melting away and i'll see progress visually um but yeah i am still excited Still hopeful, but just not seeing the changes with my own eyes yet. You are balancing on a water bottle right now, but thank you so much for watching my first month of my postpartum health journey video. Um, let me know what you think. I hope that it was kind of inspiring for you if you're in a similar place and you want to start your health journey. Um, overall, in the first month, I lost 15 pounds from when I got my DEXA scan. And um, my waist, I lost, I went from 38 and a half to 37 inches and I let a few inches on my thighs um but that's I'm really going to just focus on the waist measurement because that's the easiest one to know that you're doing correctly but yeah so I did make some progress I feel really 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 good really good um last month whenever I was overwhelmed with mom life and my toddler is a literal crazy person right now anything she did anything that like went wrong I would get so overwhelmed and I would literally freak like I would just like freak out um and ever since starting you know this health journey I'm not eating as much sugar I really don't even I'm not eating sugar really at all I haven't really had Dr. Pepper and I just feel like I can handle tough situations better 
um so that's plus and i just feel lighter like i don't see a lot of progress in the mirror um the scale went down 15 pounds but like i don't see it right now but i feel like i lost 50 pounds like that's how light i feel right now um so yeah i'm very excited let's freaking do this i'm sharing this with the world i hope i don't fail publicly because that's embarrassing but i really am so excited for this and i can't wait to keep going bye guys please subscribe <laughs>